Hey everybody, here we are for round one. Did you say your prayer to the uh, land gods? I don't think you said it loud enough because we got ourselves a one lander. Boy, that's a mulligan. Into a six lander. All three colors, we have natural Mardu. We just have nothing to do with it. Uh, I'll keep. <laughs> I will take a two drop. You better believe I'll take a two drop. One drop? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Opponent had their pay costs up here. I was thinking we were just going to get run over starting right away on turn one. But no, we're going to live until turn two. Turn two is a good turn to live until. So it's, it's a good start to a winning strategy, I think. Red, green. Red, green. Probably some aggression. Yep. 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 <laughs> Oh boy. Well, do you guys want to take odds on uh on a turn five glory bringer here? Cause I'm gonna put them pretty high. Ooh, we're just gonna hold this impeccable timing. We're gonna pass the turn as though we had nothing. We're gonna hit F two somewhat aggressively to pretend that we've F six here. We're gonna let him attack. We're going to go straight into blocks. And then we're going to hope. Please no pump spell. <laughs> Ooh, take seven. Turn three. We're at 13. Uh, electrify, eh? Yeah, let's pass the turn. Or no, sorry. Electrify is not three mana. It is not three mana. Warning, warning. It is not three mana. <laughs> it's three colorless. All right, so we'll drop that Binding Mummy. It will look at this Minotaur and wave as it goes sailing on by. Hit us for four, take us to nine. Cycle a Sandworm. Misses a land drop. Okay, so we could potentially get a little bit of punishment going here. We can bash in for two. And then we could just snap kill the Blood Rage right now. Or we could drop a 2-2. Two -two. If I snap kill it now, next turn we get the Manticore which I like. So yeah, let's just snap kill it now. Pretty sure there's no instant speed one red mana spells that could save it. Brute strength is two mana and wouldn't save it anyways. Pardon me? <laughs> Opponent is very good at uh, clicking cards to get the pay costs text come up and scare the hell out of me. Kenra Charioteer and Evolving Wilds is going to get their land, so they're still off a land for the turn, sort of. And we are going to... Ooh! 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 I mean, odds are they're still going to hit a land, but we could Aven Mind Sensor. Just to be a real dick. I mean, like, I don't think we're winning this game, so I just want to be a dick here. <laughs> Go on, try to crack that Evolving Wilds. I dare you. No, Aven Mind Sensor. You get to look at four cards and you better hope there's a land there. There's going to be a land there. The whiff! We got the whiff! <laughs> Coming in for three. I will take three. Pass the turn. Are we going to get back into this because of the uh, the <laughs> the uh, greedy Avon Mind Sensor play? Let's get in for four. Oh no, Magma Spray. Harsh. Get in for two. Uh, let's Manticore, throwing a counter on the Binding Mummy. Dealing three to the face, take him to 13. 
Still no land. Oh no, we were on the upkeep step. Looking like still no land. Still no land. Sweet. Now we just need to draw some zombies to tap down. Uh, well, I will ask for you to have a combat trick. Otherwise, trade your creature. And then we get to go Gustwalker, Battlefield, Scavenger, and start rummaging pretty hard. Opponent is going to just take five, so we'll drop a Gustwalker. We'll drop a Battlefield Scavenger. And we'll pass the turn. Threatening lethal on board, actually. Oh, they got their fourth land. What can they do with that? Warfire, Javelinier, Magma Spray, Brute Strength. So two, so you're going to kill the Gustwalker. Kill my Flyer, makes sense. Good plays, good plays. Uh, we'll take three here if he wants to attack. Yep, I will do it. And we get Blighted Bat to tap down Warfire. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just pulled this game out because of that stupid Avon Mind Sensor play. Oh, tight plays. Tight plays. Blighted Bat. Give it haste. Get in for 10. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we just had to have our opponent stumble for several, 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 several turns on land. Uh, can we do anything? Cartouche Solidarity might actually be good. The plus one, plus one in the first strike is going to make a lot of my creatures block his X3s really well. Lifelink's cool and all, but I think I actually do like the first strike, plus the, the extra jump blocker. So let's switch out cartouches and jump back in. Did y'all say your prayers to the land gods? Woo! That's all right. Good job, guys. Good job. So we'll lead with the Evolving Wilds and grab a, a mountain off of it to have our magma spray online. Turn to nothing, but we'll magma spray something, hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't have the Blood Rage Brawler here. Of course he does, because why wouldn't he? Ooh, discarding Warfire. Interesting choice. Well, let's crack that, get a mountain. Two drop? Well, another way to kill... Well, yeah, another way to kill Blood Rage. We do have a final reward as well. But nothing we're really going to do here. Next turn, we can drop on Wavering. No way did opponent keep a two-lander again. No way. Uh-uh. No way. Okay, there we go. Three-lander. Oh, thank you for the X2. Thank you so much for that X2. Uh, Unwavering Initiate, I'm also going to be completely fine just throwing right in front of that Blood Rage. No! Also, spoiler alert for my top 10 flavor text of uh, Amon Ket video. Ashes can't be embalmed. Incredible flavor text. I will take 4, go down to 12... And then probably drop a Sparring Mummy here. I don't really want to try more removal into an... Ooh! Merciless Javelinier. Probably just Sparring Mummy, though. Yeah, let's drop a Blocker for the Blood Rage. We'll probably eat a Brute Strength. But he's very rapidly going to fall out of uh, cards in hand. Just flat out. And we can very potentially just take control of this with removal before long. Uh, okay, so he does have a Brute Strength, um, so I mean we'll block just in case he doesn't force him to have it, basically. But we'll get it out of the hand for uh, future removal, or potentially one of the, the green Hexproof things or whatnot.
There's the brute strength. Yep. So we'll take four, go to eight. Not bad, not bad. Um, I really don't want to run into the hexproof trick. I really don't want to. Let's pass the turn and we'll probably just final reward the blood rage. Unless something higher than four power comes down here. We're getting super lucky on our colors for sure. Uh, Battlefield Scavenger. Sure, that's fine. And then you're going to come in. No attacks. Oh, he's playing around impeccable timing. So he does not, definitely does not have any pump spells here or anything. So I think I'm pretty happy just electrifying this. Boop. Gotcha. Ooh, more removal. More removal. Um, so I'm going to have to take two off the scavenger, which hurts. But we can start turning excess lands into counters with Merciless Javelinier. So yeah, let's bring it down. And pass the turn. Again, we're playing the uh, opponent stuck on land strategy pretty well. Ugh. Oh, opponent got a land. All right, one card left in hand. We're going to take two here. That's fine. Uh, didn't quite get that. No reason not to play the land. We've got six mana available. Um, I think I'm willing to trade the bat with the scavenger. Yeah, tradey trades. Land. Last card in hand. Chef it monitor. We are going to final reward that, I think. White, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I could drop a winged shepherd, but then we'd have nothing to do against that. Um, so yeah, we are going to use expensive removal right now. Pass the turn. Opponent is in top deck mode, and we've got a beefy flyer. Opponent top decks like a champ. Another land. We'll drop the winged shepherd and probably offer the trade here. Or we could take four. Odds of them having pulled a combat trick, I'm going to say they didn't. I'll take four. Go to two. Another quarry hauler. Okay. They're top decking gas. We do get to attack for three here. And we get an Aven Mind Sensor as well, actually. So we can get in for three. And then we can trade and cast out. Yeah, we can trade and cast out. More gas? Holy crap. Wow. All right, so we are going to have to take one. And we're basically dead otherwise, right? All right, so we're going to have to block one. And then cast out the other. We still get Aven Mind Sensor too, actually. So we're going to go to one. We're going to Aven Mind Sensor. Not that it's going to do anything against the Trample. Maybe we can hit the Cartouche of Solidarity that we sided in? Nope, just a Swamp. All right, so we're dead. We held out there. We held out. It did again require our opponent to stumble. But the second they stopped stumbling, we were just dead. 
I am dead. Please, Cartouche, don't have been on top of the library. Gustwalker, that's fine. All right. So, opponent is attacking McAttackersons? Mc sure, that's the name of them. Uh, Cartouche of Ambition does feel okay. I don't think there's anything to take out, though. I still think I like the Cartouche of Solidarity instead. It definitely presents our blockers as being significantly stronger. Maybe just maybe just the ambition, though. Maybe the life actually will be the biggest thing. Another sparring mummy, no. Painful lessons, no. Unburden, no. They're already emptying their hand. They're not playing X1s. We're not going to play Bloodlust Insider. Uh, Nimble Kenra is not going to do it because they're all like three and four power things. <laughs> If we could guarantee that they stumbled on lands, we could play land destruction, but we're not gonna. So we'll just submit deck and, uh, yeah, try to pull this out. All right, land gods, be good. Play first. Uh, this doesn't do anything, right? So we can get a land of our choice. And then the, the the hand literally doesn't do anything if we don't get our third land. If we do get our third land and we grab a swamp, we have a bat or an edifice. And then we're stuck on waiting for one of our mountains. If we get a mountain, we have nothing on our third other than edifice. <sighs> you can't keep this one, can you? Not, not in this deck, you can't. Uh, on the draw, maybe, but not on the play. That's a mull. Um, we have a two drop and we have a scry. I'll keep. I will keep that on top as well, because then we get to two drop, three drop. Whew, that felt bad. Please no turn two four three. Whoever the hell who the hell thought a turn two four three was an okay card to print at uncommon <laughs> in a set that desperately wants you to discard cards and get them in the graveyard and not have them in your hand. Oh dear. Deary deary dear. Battlefield scavenger down. And we're going to start to brick. Brick in a good way. <gasps> no 4-3 on turn 2. No 4-3 on turn 2. Attack, please. No exert. And no removal. Holy moly. All right. Finally going to get to use Edifice. I've never actually used it. So target creature can attack this turn. So we want to use that on their turn. And then the other one is until your next turn, right? Yeah. Arrest until your next turn. So good. So good. The opponent stumbling on land strategy not going well. Opponent gets a 3-2. Ooh. Wow. Aren't we a luck sack? Uh, so that's going to be a 5-4 if we don't say no to it. And all we have are four drops. So I guess I'm going to have to pass the turn and edifice the brawler. Opponent stumbling on their upkeep. That's another strategy. We'll see if it gets us there or not. Opponent successfully passes priority on the upkeep. Main phase one, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Maybe our opponent is taking the uh, uh, the play really strange cadence to try to make me miss my uh, edifice triggers and such. That is something people do, and I don't recommend wasting time on that. Play good magic, and you'll do well. Three drop coming at us. Sure. Oh, he's going to take my brick. My brick! How does a camel tear down a building? Question for y'all. Hmm. 
my brick. Bye, brick. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nothing end of turn. Do we get a land? We don't. Uh, but we can edifice and cycle, which is okay. We're going to have to take five. It doesn't feel great. Um, could drop a four, three. I think we'll edifice and cycle. Um, and I guess we'll edifice the quarry hauler, basically force this to exert. Not that I'm sure our opponent gives a damn about that being done. Uh, beginning of combat, quarry hauler, no attacky for you. No attack. Hooded brawler, coming in with that exert. So I guess we cycle the winged shepherd now in case we can hit something. I'm not sure what we can do for two mana. We do hit a two drop, but it's not one that does anything for us. So we'll just take five here and say no quarry hauler number two. No quarry hauler number two? Blood rage brawler, sure. That's fun. Welp. If we hit a land, we can cast out an edifice. And an F-crop. Holy balls. Okay. Uh, we get to kill an F-crop. Deal. Deal. Kill an F-crop. Get a 3-3 three, three lifelinker. We get to say no to one of his 4-3s next turn. This deck, it, it, it's not bad when you have the mana available, um, but <laughs> with the mana base that it has, it is not a uh, not a good deck. Opponent cycling, chef it, monitor. Getting that land. They don't want a 6-5. Play a land for turn. Oh, crap. Yep, their strange cadence is causing me to miss triggers. <sighs> In with both of those, sure. Uh, well, we're going to trade with one of them. Get rid of Blood Rage. So I take one net. Uh, and then, sure, let's get our brick. Um... Well, we can get a Binding Mummy and still use Edifice, so that's okay. Pass the turn. Go to main, go to beginning of combat. Um, let's force the Exert again. It's a really slow game plan for them. I will take five, go to nine. Edifice is now online, which is nice. Opponent's feeling pretty close to a greater sandworm. Yup, <laughs> there it is. Come on, land. It's turn eight. Give us our fifth land, and we can cast out an edifice. Nope. No deal. Not allowed. Uh, we can unwavering initiate an edifice. So, yeah. Let's unwavering initiate. And pass the turn. We'll edifice the sandworm. We'll trade the initiate with the quarry hauler if it doesn't get burnt. But boy, we need lands real bad. Real bad. Don't magma spray. Don't do it. Do not. Please? 
please? Please, opponent. I see you paying costs. I see you paying costs? Question mark? There it is. Magma sprayed. Go to beginning of combat. Finger off the F2 button. Greater sandworm. None of your shenanigans. Quarry hauler in. I will take four. Even if he has brute strength, I still go to two. And that's fine. But good God, we need our next land so that we can cast out an edifice. Like, please turn nine. <laughs> uh. Um. Yeah, we'll just take it. Hopefully go to five. I'm going to hit F6 because I'm tired of opponent's really weird cadence here. There we go. All right, land, land. Thank you. Was well, that so much to ask for? Uh, so we can turn that off. We can cast out one of these, and then we have to chomp block. Alternatively, we can have a 4-3 and turn that off, and then we have a chump and a trade. Let's do chump and trade. Chump and trade. And let's edifice the sandworm. Pass the turn. Damn it. Uh, I'm dead. Good game. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay. All right. Say your prayers to the land gods. We're going to go on to match two. And please give me appropriate lands. See you guys for match two.